Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Zara and I'm a part of Heritage Livestock Canada, an organization devoted to the preservation of rare and heritage breed livestock. Because believe it or not, there are endangered animals that I bet you've never even heard of. So my goal in this video series is to open your eyes to a whole new category of disappearing animals. In today's video, I'll be covering the Shropshire sheep. With me today, I have a Shropshire lamb. Shropshire sheep are a medium to large size breed and they are actually a tri-purpose feed. This means that um, they are used for wool, meat, and they're also tree friendly. Farmers use sheep like the Shropshire sheep to basically mow the lawn without destruction. How it works is they will eat the weeds and the grass around the trees without actually eating the crops themselves. So it's really a win-win-win for the farmer. Just like chickens, sheep group, a group of sheep is called a flock. And the plural of sheep is not sheep. It stays the same, plural or singular. This sheep earned its name by 1848. The Shropshire sheep was also imported to Canada in the 1860s from England, um, and they used to be very popular. However, this breed experienced a heavy decline during the 1950s um, due to the fact that breeders started to play around with the genetics and they were losing the original breed qualities of the sheep. Fortunately, a few flocks kept the traditional Shropshire. Shropshire sheep are an active but gentle breed and the ewes can shear about 9 to 11 pounds of wool. Sheep can be fed a diet of hay, mixed grains, and they like to graze. I think I'm starting to see a pattern in livestock diets. If up for a challenge, try saying Shrop Sh Shropshire sheep 10 times fast. It's a real tongue twister. The way farmers name their animals is a little bit different from how your mom names you. Each year is assigned a letter in alphabetical order. How this works is the animal gets tattooed in the letter inside of their ear and that way the farmer can easily identify how old they are by retracing the letters in the alphabet. This year, 2021, is the letter J. Shropshire sheep are endangered. Like I said previously, some farmers began to play around with their genetics and this resulted in fewer purebred Shropshires. Not to mention the fact that um, the big industries, big farming industries, have started to narrow down the list of mass produced sheep. As you can see, the Shropshire sheep is a lovable breed and deserves to come off of Heritage Livestock Canada's conservation list. Owning and breeding Shropshire sheep is an obvious way to help, but not everybody has that option. Consider making a donation to Heritage Livestock Canada, where solving problems like this one is always on their mind. Keep up with the development of your favorite rare breeds by subscribing to Heritage Livestock Canada's magazine. And please let us know we have your support by ramming the like button below and subscribing to this channel. I hope these videos inspire you to think more about these endangered animals that no one seems to know about, and try to make a difference whenever you can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Shropshire sheep are endangered. Like I said previously, I forgot what I said. The way farmers name their animals is a little bit different from how your mom named you. 